This is Kelly Hill, Executive Editor of RCR Wireless News. I'm here at Mobile World Congress Los Angeles with Marco Argenton, from, who is Director of Product at Tellit. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for having me. Great, great. Now you folks have some news here at Mobile World Congress. What are you announcing this week? Yeah, indeed. It's a very exciting week for us because uh, among all the other things that we are uh, showcasing here, we are talking about uh, 5G and our new 5G product that uh, is here, uh, that you can see, uh, is basically a M.2 data card. M.2 is a popular form factor and uh, uh, it will be the standard for this kind of, uh, of applications. And what is important to say about, uh, about this device is that uh, it supports both uh, sub-6 gigahertz frequencies and also millimeter wave. And uh, the other important uh, news from this week is that uh, we have been the first uh, to successfully uh, make a first uh, data call in a live uh, environment uh, and in particular with a tier one operator in Korea and this is a really uh, a great achievement for Telit. Uh, on top of that uh, uh, we are also uh, executing uh, uh, other tests uh, with uh, two um, important firms uh, in, the, in the area of the test equipments and uh, if this uh, live test we did in Korea is uh, based on the sub-6 uh, uh, frequencies uh, the other tests we are conducting are based on the um, test equipments by Anritsu and Rade Schwarz that are lead, really the, the leading industries uh, in this kind of, um, of environment. Uh, and what is important to mention in this case is that we are really uh, writing the book together. We are, we are really breaking the ground here in terms of test cases. It's a new technology and we, we have to test uh, together and cooperate uh, to make this product available for our end customers. And also, when it comes to the uh, features of this product, uh, is a 5G data card, but it also supports 4G. And 4G is not going away uh, with the uh, arrival of 5G uh, in the industry. And, and this is important because it allows, uh, a, first of all, a global deployment uh, with all the uh, frequency bands that are supported, and also uh, an early deployment uh, for our end customers, also in the regions where 5G is not yet deployed because they can leverage 4G and be ready for uh, the moment in which uh, 5G will be deployed in the field. So today we're also speaking with Safi Khan, Regional Product Marketing Director from Telet. How are you? Good, thank you. Good. So let's hear a little bit more about these 5G modules and what industries will benefit from those. Sure. So our 5G module is uh, bringing in a new generation of 5G uh, technology. It includes uh, millimeter wave and sub-6. And uh, on top of that, you also get uh, 5G, 4G, and 3G. And we have built in GNSS, so you can also do position location. The market segments that it targets are mainly uh, fixed uh, wireless access, which includes uh, broadband and also um, uh, surveillance cameras or um, uh, broadcast, like you're, uh, you're doing, broadcast cameras. Uh, you can also do um, routers and gateways. Uh, and also uh, there's a use case for um, CPEs, which is customer premise equipment. So CPEs uh, can be deployed indoors as well as outdoors. And one of the benefits of our module is that it's leveraging the technology for millimeter wave. Mm -hmm. And uh, not only the low power antennas are supported, we uh, also support the high power antennas. And these high power antennas enable uh, a, a deployment where the CPE can cover a larger area. For example, a uh, bigger deployment in a city, for example, uh, for home broadband. Uh, also covers factory automation. So SK Telecom, in collaboration with the government of Korea, is embarking on an initiative to enable smart manufacturing as well as flexible manufacturing. What they mean by that is that with 5G connectivity, these uh, robots can easily uh, connect in and out of the network. And when they need to do some job, they can uh, finish the job. And then instead of moving the goods, the actual robot moves autonomously to the next station and then uh, connects back to the network and starts working again. So this is one of the key uh, milestones that we have achieved with the partnership uh, using our module. So, Safi, tell us, when will these 5G modules be available? Okay, so I'm very happy to announce that 5G is really here and Telet is leading the way. 
Our samples already shipped in this quarter, and we sent them to our lead customers who are already designing product with our module. And we will be entering production in the first quarter of 2020, which is in the next quarter. Okay, so it sounds like 2020 is going to be a big year. Yes, we're looking forward to it. So Marco, one more question. Uh, tell us a little bit more about Telet's presence here at the show this week. Well, it has been a busy week uh, on top of the announcement on 5G that I told you before. Mm -hmm. uh, this is for us a great opportunity to meet our key customers. And uh, on top of that, uh, we are also present at the GSMA Innovation City with um, a demo uh, with a real product uh, of one of our customers. And this is uh, in the uh, context of the smart cities. Uh, so uh, in that case, it's an LTE category one product uh, that uh, is just one of uh, the multiple choices that uh, a customer can, uh, can pick from our portfolio. And then uh, another important uh, uh, presence is at the Ongo uh, CBRS pavilion. And this is another important milestone for us because uh, we are uh, really experiencing an amazing success uh, of private LTE here in US. Uh, in that case, we are uh, showcasing a product together with another partner uh, where we have a data card that is uh, in supporting CBRS uh, technology. And uh, it's also connected to what I told you before about 5G because private network will play a major role in 5G as well. So in that uh, uh, pod, we are showing a 4G solution but it's just uh, the first seed uh, for, for this growth uh, on 5G as well. Okay, well, we'll stay in touch. Thank you so much. Thank you.